A hidden getaway on the world's second most densely populated island, a steep climb up and down with views across southern Hong Kong, an isolated island, a sandy causeway plus a little outlet shopping. This is Drone and Phone and today we're walking Adelaide Channel. Welcome to Drone and Phone, the show where I take the drone on my back here and the phone that I'm filming with you right now and show you some of Asia's best one day outdoor adventures. Today is episode four in recommended walks. I'm on Aple Chow and I'm going up Mount Johnston. In the fourth of recommended Hong Kong walks, we hike eight kilometres around the small island of Ap Lai Chow, starting along the promenades of Ap Lai Chow Park and South Horizons, and then working our way up to the hill above the Lei Tung Estate before ascending Yuk Kwai Shan, also known as Mount Johnston. From the top, we took the steep rope descent down to the sandy causeway that takes you over to the islet of Ap Lai Pei, which we crossed to the southernmost point. In the early morning light, the fishing boats in Aberdeen Harbour make for a feast of bright colours and activity. It's a short stroll along the promenade, but give it enough time to enjoy the unique atmosphere before walking up and over the hill to South Horizons. Here, there are shopping malls and outlet stalls if you want to shop, or walk down to the sea and look out to Lama Island and beyond. From there, cut back to Li Nam Road, and work your way up to the first of three peaks. It's a fairly easy climb on good paths before you make your way up Mount Johnston on a scrabbly path. Well, the first half of this walk is pretty simple. Starting in Aple Chow along the promenade, some nice things to discover there, and then slowly work your way around the headland and then up this first of three hills. I'm gonna be going up Mount Johnston, which is this one behind me. Uh, some nice views across Aberdeen and out to Lama Island so far. It's been a very pleasant day but pretty easy so far. Once you get up Mount Johnson you leave the bustle of the high rises behind. It's hard to believe this gem of a walk still exists in the world's second most densely populated island. Ropes are provided to help with the steep descent off Mount Johnson. Bring gloves if you intend to use them. Once on the sandy causeway at the bottom, it's a much gentler climb up to the third hill on that Lay Pei and down to the lighthouse. Well, I'm just coming to the end of that Lay Chow. You can probably feel the wind is actually blowing a gale. We've not been able to fly the drone this afternoon, but it's been a very pleasant day. Second half a lot tougher than the first half, but not too bad all the same. The only problem is from here, the only way back is to go back up Mount Johnston and back down to the main village. Now, if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone. You'll also find all of our previous episodes nicely catalogued on drone and I'm getting a flown away here. My name is DJ Clark and this is Drone and Bone.